It's sometime when you're skiing, you might have a fall. It's not a big deal and everybody does it. We're going to go over a few different ways to get up when you do fall. Here's one way that always works for me. First of all, you want to get your skis downhill of your body so you're not working against gravity. And then take your time getting up. Oftentimes people try to be in a rush or hurry up and it just it doesn't end up working that well and it'll just make you tired. So take your time, be super methodical with this. We're all gonna roll over onto your belly with your feet in the air and then open your skis really wide so that you look over your shoulder and you can see your ski tips. Same thing on the other side. I wanna make sure that my ski is not like that. So again, I can see my ski tip. I can see my other ski tip. Then I come up to my hands and my knees, take my time, hands pretty close to my knees and just move my hips up towards the sky. Keep my weight mostly on my hands as I walk my feet closer together until I feel balanced and then I can stand up little by little, turn my skis over to the side. It works for almost everybody, give it a go. way I like to get up. Again, taking my time, just make sure my skis are downhill of my body again. This time it's important to make sure they're going across the fall line. So the line that gravity would take us down the hill, keep your skis right across that. And if you can imagine that there's an arc or a rainbow from your ski tips out and around back to your waist. You don't have to draw it with your ski pole, but that way we can see it. Put your hands on the snow and lift your hips up, kind of like if you're going to do a push up versus being in this position with your chest facing the sky. Keep your chest facing the snow and little by little, walk your hands all the way around to your ski tips until you feel pretty balanced and then you can stand up. The last way I'm gonna show you how to get up that's always useful to know is again, keep your skis below your body and facing across the hill if you don't feel quite as flexible, maybe this could be a great option for you. I'm going to use my ski pole on the heel piece of my binding to release my ski. Boom. Then I can just kick that ski out of the way, take this knee, pull it underneath me. I can balance on the ski that I have on my foot still, and then I can stand up. A third option. If you use this way, then you're going to need to put your ski on again. We have videos on how to put your ski on and lots of other great things. Feel free to check those out.